For our next guest, I have another of our voice cast. Who are you? You look familiar. <laughs> I would hope I am familiar. I'm John Swayze, and I voice the role of Gendo. Yeah? Well, um, this wouldn't be the first time that you've ever played Gendo. And, well, you know, I guess that wouldn't be the first time even with these new batch of movies because this is the second movie. But right. you played Gendo before, yes? I did. I played Gendo back when uh, when uh, Matt Greenfield at ADV was directing. Yeah. Um, and uh, they had a another Gendo that um, played by Tristan McCavery, McCavery and um, they wanted to replace him, so uh, Matt called me in and asked me if I would uh, listen to this voice and sort of emulate it a little bit as best I could, but not try to duplicate it. Mm. Um, you know, it's it's the old, this is the new Darren, like on Bewitched. You know, you're, not, <laughs> you're not trying to be that, but you are trying to get close, so it's not a drastic change. Anyway, so I did it, and they loved it, and um, then, of course, when... Uh, I uh, found out that uh, you were taking over the reins. I was thrilled to death that uh, you had uh, called me and said that we're bringing the original cast back back in and uh, that I'd be working on it. So it was a real thrill for me because he's a fun character to, to voice. Cool. Um, and, we, and we, in our exploration of the character voice, found something between what you had done before and the say you and you know some vision that I have and some input from yourself as well right. to well, shape him into what we've, we now have. Right, and then, you know, not to mention that, uh, what, 12 years has passed or so between, uh, uh, or 10 years has passed between doing the characters, so... Some chunk of change, anyway. Some, something in there, direct, I don't know, but I just know... director's but, cut episodes. Right, but, I'm, you know, my voice is, is uh, changed a little bit, um, even though not like when you're reaching adolescence change but it's a little different not like this no like <laughs> yeah but uh but still um you know and then uh uh you know plus your take on it is going to be different what your, what your vision is yep. and what you really want to get across so yeah it's uh, it has been a little different but it's also um it it has been so long it wasn't uh, a question of or an issue of me questioning your decisions or anything because it's been so long. It it was a little bit like just starting over with something new. Now, um, what do you think of Gendo? What, what do you uh, and or what do you think about when you're playing him? When you're um, what thoughts go through your head as you're um, pr giving the performance? Well, I you know the first thing is, and this is sort of true with, uh, in my opinion, with any um, with any. Uh, character that we're voicing um, is that we're doing the ADR so uh, although we do bring um, some things to the table you know the, the Japanese have already produced it uh, the way that they would like to see Gendo or any character for that matter um, evolve so uh, the job in my opinion really falls on your shoulders as the director to, to sort of guide me you know this is where Gendo is going and, you know, it's not really for me to say, well, I think he should get upset or, he, you know, given the circumstances, mm -hmm. he should be feeling this. You really have to kind of, and, and one of the things I like about the way you direct, Mike, is that, you know, you, you really refer to the Japanese a lot to make sure, sure that we as a team stay on track. Um, but, uh, you know, so I really, I just really kind of defer to you because, again, and as you know, we don't have the advantage of reading the script ahead of time and knowing how all the plot lines have developed and are developing and, and how the character is developed so it's uh, yeah, I, I get I get that information <laughs> yeah yeah you do you get that so it, we, we rely on on you a lot so um, but it, it is fun I mean you know he's such a tragic tragically cool character I mean he's a bad guy good guy that he you know he's got some evil about him but he's got soft spots I think and he definitely has a plan. <laughs> yes, oh, most definitely, most definitely. Now, um, how, how do you think his relationship with uh, with Shinji is going in these movies? Like, what, what do you uh, see as uh, his position as uh, at Nerve versus his position as a father versus his position working with the other uh, people that he works with around him, the other pilots and the other. You know that's a, that's an interesting such. question. Yeah, I, you know, I, I think it's a it's a definite source of conflict for him. Um, he, you know, he's got this one. He's got it's it's different allegiances and, mm -hmm. and different. Uh, um, you know, like I'm a father, and there's times I love my kids, and times I can't stand them. So, 
you know, they, uh, but I, I think that he, I think deep down, he just, he really, I think he would lean more towards his family, towards being a father. Um, that's just my opinion. Because Nerve is, is, he's also, it seems like, then he have like a secret agenda. Well, to me, Gendo, um, he uses everything and everyone around him to uh, help fulfill a master plan that he has. And whether or not you see that as him being cold-natured as far as his family and his co-workers are concerned, or if he's just distancing himself so that he can better do his job, or any of these sorts of things, it's all up for the viewer. And, um, you know, well, only, only, only Anna would know the definitive. You know, we could have people that re, you know research Evangelion for 20, 30 years and feel that, that they have the answer. And it could, right, right. It could be right or wrong. Yeah, absolutely. And I think you just you summed it up. It, it really is going to end up going to the viewer how they want to interpret it, just like you would with any thing, a book or any piece a, of art. Any piece of art, right, is yeah. how you interpret it. But I do think that uh, you said something earlier that he does distance himself. And, and you know, in, in life, uh, we have very little control over everything, anything, excuse me. And the one thing that you have really any semblance of control is yourself. And I think that, uh, that, that Gendo, if he can distance himself, keep, it, keep arm's length at everything, he can control himself, but it gives him a better view. You know, it's that, let me stand back here so I can see the bigger picture, so I can make an evaluation of what... Uh, and that I think that comes across as him being cold and, and whatever. Plus, he's very contemplative. <laughs> I mean, in that, I love the fact that, and I don't know what percentage of shots uh, where his hands are folded and put around his mouth. <laughs> and like, hmm... Let me think about this, you know, and it's sort of is. I'm devising a plan now to yeah. do something. Every so often, we'll also show under those hands to see, you know, an expression, either a smirk or a smile or some sort of sign of disappointment. But he, uh, he has the the hands in front of the right of the mouth so that the room won't see. Right, and, and usually his emotion is is somewhat subtle too. It's not a. Yeah. It's not. Ah! It's, you know. A, hmm. <laughs> So you don't really know what's... Because, I mean, he's... You know, there's a, an old term, you know, playing your cards close to the vest. Mm. And I think that would uh, that would uh, describe Gendo's M.O. pretty accurately. I believe so. Now, uh, have you had much interaction with uh, Evangelion fandom? Um, Either I, conventions or um, online or in person or yes, anything? Yes, I have. I have. Uh, uh, I was recently at a convention in Ireland, and uh, they were all all about Gendo. And um, uh, it's just a very, very popular show with the fans, and they love it, and they love Gendo. Um, I've, I've run across uh, things on the Internet um, comparing uh, my... Gendo to Tristan's Gendo, the original Gendo, the original and, English one. Oh, the original yeah. English Gendo. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. And it's you know it's very funny because on one of them it was a podcast and it was three guys sitting there talking and one of them was very much in the in the pro Tristan camp mm -hmm. and uh, the other two were like, well, you know, John does a pretty good job. I, I think. He, and the the guy that was pro Tristan was like, well, I don't know who this John is, but he can't be nearly as good as Tristan. And it was like, well, okay. Now you're judging me. You haven't even heard it. So um, thank you. But, uh, no, it's a very popular, and I love uh, it. It has certainly been good for me um, as an actor and going to conventions and, and whatnot. Mm. And I've done some podcasts, um, uh, stuff like that. So it's, a, it's, it's good to be uh, a character that's uh, so widely popular. Is there any um, um, specific... Beyond the, uh, the the podcast uh, story you just told, is there any specific uh, interaction with fandom that comes to mind? No, not really. I mean, I'm sorry. That's a that's a boring answer. It's not. Uh, uh, you know what I do. Any, love, anything specific or interesting that you signed, or anything interesting or specific that someone came up and said to you about the the show or the character? No, just that they love the character. I mean, I, I'm. You know, uh, I do have a story, but I, I don't know if I could repeat it on the uh, on this uh, <laughs> interview. But um, it was during a podcast, and mm -hmm. uh, anyway, I, I won't go into it. But it's uh, no, you know, people have just been very um, just they just love Gendo, and they um, 
you know, what I really love, it's always cool, and this is true of any character, but when you go to a convention and you uh, see when they're doing, you know, their cosplay and whatnot, and they mm -hmm. walk up and there's, you know, Gendo, and they wonder, like, can I get a picture? And you're like, dude, I was going to ask you if I could get a picture, because that's just <laughs> way cool, you know? So, but uh, unfortunately, no no specific stories of gendo and fandom. Oh, they all wrap up together. They do, in a nice big package. Was well, there anything specific that you'd like to say to the Evangelion fandom out there? Uh, ab absolutely. I would like to say... Um, just thank you so very much for all your support and uh keep uh keep on keeping on and uh eat more Ava. <laughs> Ava is good food. <laughs> it's good food and good for you. No, just a, a huge thank you to all the fans and and uh it is it's an honor to um be able to play such a fun character for you and uh I'm glad that it is pleasing to you. And um, I hope that we can continue to, to pump it out as, as they do and, and uh, keep everyone happy. Cool. Well, thanks for coming by. Hey, thanks for having me, Mike.